Drone on drone docking is incredibly useful in many situations such as refueling, package delivery, and cargo swapping. Developing a system to do this automatically and efficiently would decrease the time and cost needed to complete drone tasks dramatically, creating a demand for this technology to be implemented. This project utilized many instances of 3D modeling and printing to bring our concepts and ideas into reality. Lightweight PLA filament was used to print strong, yet lightweight structural pieces of the drone. The creation of the drones was a collaborative effort of the team. This project could not have been done without the effort of several Cal Poly Pomona engineering students. I think, you know, in the background, you know, his actually drone can go up. <laughs> I like how the ability to position hold gave you a lot more courage. You were like... A large bulk of time was spent on development of the drones and the tweaking of ideas. As with all projects, nothing was ever perfect the first or second time around. This project was fluid with our ideas evolving over time, eventually becoming more and more refined. Many problems needed to be worked through to get our drones in the air. With issues ranging from simple stability to complex system calibration, we had our fair share of setbacks. Yet these setbacks didn't stop us from pushing and persevering. Ultimately, our goal is to have the drones be completely autonomous, meaning they should have the ability to fly and navigate themselves. When testing automated code on the drones, there's an increased chance of the drone flying off with no control. The way we accounted for this was having the drone secured while testing took place to establish a backup, more manual form of control. Flight testing each of the two drones is an entirely different experience. The bigger of the two is much more broad, slower, and more stable in order to account for it needing to act as a landing pad. The smaller drone is very light and nimble, reacting sensitively to every input given. Once both drones achieve flight successfully, the next step is to set up connection between them. For this project specifically, we plan to implement a system where a support drone can dock onto another drone, charge its battery, then depart from the main drone. Using wide-angle cameras, QR codes and sensors, the main and support drones will be able to avoid collision and track each other mid-air. An early test of our charging concept had an induction coil secured onto the big drone and had a small drone fly closely with LEDs attached to it that would activate once in range of the coil, demonstrating the idea of drone-to-drone -drone power transfer. Small-scale tests like these are crucial to the process. They allow us to prove a concept, giving credit to the scalability of these ideas if more resources are allocated. This project has been a journey, months in the making, with many milestones and setbacks. Each setback was a challenge to overcome, and as a team, we have succeeded. Thank you for your consideration.